New developments in the bullying scandal surrounding the Miami Dolphins. A former teammate of Richie Incognito is speaking out now, painting an unflattering portrait of the suspended player who is on the move this morning. ABC's Lindsay Zarniak is here with the very latest ABC and ESPN, we should say. Great to see Thank you, Lindsay. You guys. Great to see you. This story has so many layers. It continues to develop. News broke last weekend of Dolphins star Richie Incognito allegedly bullying teammate Jonathan Martin, leaving racially charged text messages and voicemails. Martin reportedly checked himself into a hospital before leaving the team and now the future of both players is up in the air. Embattled Miami Dolphins guard Richie Incognito arrived Friday in Los Angeles amid the pressure of a bullying scandal that could cost him his job. I'm not going to make comment at this time. An onslaught of media greeting him at LAX, including ABC's Miami affiliate WPLG. Richie, you have anything to say about those things? Incognito offered a steady stream of... I'm not going to make my comment. Is there no comment? No comment at this time. Including when asked about his teammate and target of his alleged bullying, Jonathan Martin. Are you here to meet with Jonathan Martin? Uh, at this point, man, I'm not making a comment. So, well, Are you I'm here to apologize in, in any way? i through the airport, so... No, I understand, but are you here to meet with him? Martin was seen Friday leaving his parents' home in Southern California where he's preparing for a meeting with the NFL's independent investigator next week. As for Incognito's plans... This is not the time or the place for a comment. Incognito may not be answering questions, but this morning, former teammate Cam Cleland is. A lot of fights during practice, a lot of disrespect, just really not personable. So a guy I didn't think was, was a great locker room person or was a teammate that I really wanted to respect or be a part of. Cleland says Incognito had trouble getting along in the St. Louis Rams locker room when the two played there together from 2004 to 2005. Fighting with other teammates all the time. Look, we're all alpha males. You got to find a way to coexist. And he just, he just never really coexisted very well. While some players have expressed sympathy for Martin, others feel it's Incognito who is being unfairly punished. We kind of feel like um, uh, he's, he's getting a bad rap out of all of this, so we, we know what kind of guy he is and we want everybody else to know that same thing. The NFL is investigating, so it is unclear when, if ever, Incognito will be able to rejoin the team. As for Jonathan Martin, he remains on the Dolphins roster, so he is eligible to return, but will be meeting with an independent investigator to share details of his story later this week. That's what he's been doing, compiling a list to share with that investigator. These divided opinions on Incognito are fascinating. It's it totally is. Fascinating. It is, because he does have a lot of locker room support, but then obviously the lion's share of folks look at these racial you know, slurs that he has used and just say unacceptable right. right nonetheless not the kind of headlines the dolphins want to be making exactly especially when you got a game in a couple days that's right, Lindsay, That's right. thank you guys